Have you ever wondered what it would be like if ships started soaring above mountains instead of gliding through rivers? Thanks to groundbreaking engineering marvels like the Gupatan shiplift, this incredible vision is now reality. These technological wonders defy gravity, enabling ships weighing thousands of tons to ascend hundreds of feet into the sky. But how even is this feat possible? Today, we unravel the secrets of the world's tallest and most advanced ship lift and explore the ingenuity that makes such magic possible. Dams are incredible feats of engineering with far-reaching benefits. They generate electricity, control floods, and store vital water supplies. However, their very success in managing natural resources creates significant challenges for river-based navigation. When a dam is built, it acts as a barrier that completely disrupts the natural flow of a river. The river is split into two sections, upstream and downstream. In the upstream, water builds up, forming a vast reservoir that can stretch for miles. This area is typically at a much higher elevation, as water is held back by the dam. In downstream, the water level drops significantly. The river's flow is often reduced to a trickle compared to what it once was creating a dramatic difference in height between the two sections. The difference in elevation created by a dam can be minimal in some cases, just a few meters, but in others, it might be 100 meters or more, depending on the dam's size and purpose. When it comes to guaranteeing the continuous flow of products across rivers, this poses a huge issue. Rivers are vital transport routes for ships, not just scenic waterways. For vessels to travel smoothly, the river's flow must remain uninterrupted. Dams disrupt this, splitting rivers into two separate sections. This creates barriers, halts trade, and delays goods, which can harm local economies and slow down industries. The impact of disrupted rivers goes beyond trade. Communities relying on these waterways for fishing, transport, and water access face significant challenges. Rivers are lifelines, and when they become impassable, daily routines and local economies suffer. The larger the gap between river sections, the harder it is for vessels to navigate, turning vital routes into dead ends. In order to combat that problem, traditional locks have long been the go-to solution. These systems consist of large water-filled chambers with gates at both ends. When a ship approaches a lock, it enters a watertight chamber and gates behind it are sealed shut. To move the vessel, water is either added to or drained from the chamber using controlled valves. This adjusts the water level inside the lock to match the height of the next river section. Once the levels are aligned, the front gates open, allowing the ship to continue its journey. This concept dates back to ancient China, where the Grand Canal featured the first double gate lock in the 10th century. This innovation was a game-changer, setting the foundation for modern waterway systems. And what's the modern solution for this problem? A ship lift. Before we move on, I'd like to ask you a small favor. If you like this content, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Over 98% of you watch the videos without subscribing. Imagine what we could accomplish if everyone subscribed. It costs you nothing, but it makes a huge difference to us. So, is it done? Great, thank you so much. A ship lift functions as a massive elevator specifically designed for ships, enabling them to traverse significant elevation changes in a single operation. Unlike traditional locks that require multiple stages and extended periods to adjust water levels, ship lifts streamline the process saving both time and resources. These lifts are particularly useful for large dams, where elevation differences can be vast and traditional locks would be inefficient or impractical. The Three Gorges Dam Ship Lift is a groundbreaking engineering achievement that will improve river traffic in one of the world's most active waterways. This huge lift can raise ships up to 3,000 metric tons showing the sophisticated mechanical engineering needed to support such heavy loads. It tackles an elevation difference of 113 meters, 370 feet, equivalent to a 37-story building in just 40 minutes. This is a significant time saver compared to the three to four hours needed to traverse the dam's traditional five-stage lock system. 
The Three Gorges Dam's shiplift has transformed Yangtze River traffic by overcoming logistical and technical hurdles. It has significantly increased the river's freight capacity, allowing goods to flow more efficiently and meeting the demands of China's booming economy. Its efficiency cuts shipping costs by an estimated 25%, saving fuel and reducing operational expenses, which makes it a game-changer for commerce. Technically, the lift is an engineering marvel. The lift chamber, measuring 120 meters in length, 18 meters in width, and 3.5 meters in depth, is spacious enough to accommodate large vessels. Its advanced counterweight system relies on 256 steel ropes and 128 double rope pulleys, employing a counterweight mechanism to conserve energy during operations. The entire structure is stabilized by four reinforced concrete towers, each towering 169 meters high, which provide the necessary strength and durability to support the chamber and its operations. Another ship lift that represents a monumental leap in maritime engineering is the Gupatan ship lift, the world's largest and most advanced ship lift. It was built upon the success of systems like the Three Gorges Dam. While the Three Gorges ship lift handles 113 meters of elevation difference with a 3,000 ton capacity, the Gupatan ship lift addresses a staggering 199 meters, 653 feet of elevation a height equivalent to a 60-story skyscraper. This unparalleled achievement allows vessels weighing up to 500 tons to ascend or descend mountainous terrain, directly connecting previously isolated river sections. The Gupatan ship lift's design includes three interconnected lifts, tailored for varying elevation differences. The variable height lift, designed for smaller adjustments of 72-79 meters, offers flexibility to accommodate varying water levels, making it crucial for seamless operation in changing river conditions. The fixed height lift, a groundbreaking engineering feat, addresses a singular and massive elevation change of 127 meters. As the tallest lift of its kind globally, it showcases advanced mechanical and structural design. Finally, the upstream variable lift manages descent levels of up to 47 meters ensuring that vessels can navigate safely and efficiently, regardless of direction. Each lift operates with a lifting capacity of 1,800 tons and moves vessels at a speed of 8 meters per minute, enabling even 500-ton ships to complete their lift within 10 minutes. Complementing these lifts is a unique infrastructure of 2.3 kilometers, 1.4 miles, of elevated aqueducts and tunnels creating the mesmerizing illusion of ships sailing above mountains. This surreal visual spectacle underscores the transformative impact of the project, which was completed in 2021 at a cost of $777 million. The engineering behind ship lifts like the Gupitan and Three Gorges Dam is an impressive blend of physics and mechanical ingenuity. At the core of these systems is the counterweight principle, which balances the weight of the lift chamber, whether it's filled with water alone or water plus a ship. This is based on Archimedes' principle, ensuring that the chamber's buoyancy remains constant, which helps reduce the energy required for lifting and lowering the vessel. Electric motors and gearboxes play a crucial role in overcoming friction and generating the force needed for the lift. Steel cables and pulleys are integral to the lift mechanism as they bear the weight of the chamber. In the Three Gorges Dam, there are 256 steel cables, each capable of supporting up to 460 tons, showcasing the strength and reliability of the system's infrastructure. Together, these components ensure the smooth operation of ship lifts, enabling them to handle massive weight and elevation changes with precision and efficiency. These features combine to create a system that is not only functional, but also highly energy efficient and reliable, setting a benchmark for future ship lift projects worldwide. As we've seen, the Chinese ship lifts aren't just a feat of engineering. They're a symbol of what humanity can achieve when we push the boundaries of technology and imagination. By overcoming massive elevation challenges and reducing transit times for ships, these incredible structures transform how goods are moved through some of China's most rugged landscapes.
Will we see even more groundbreaking projects like this in the years to come?